It's Chance Wars 96 here with another video where I'm expressing my thoughts on the toys shown at Toy Fair 2015. And uh, yeah, so unfortunately it's it's taken me a while to film this. Um, you know, of course I wanted to film this the weekend that the pictures came out. I've been quite busy though. Luckily I was able to film the Lego, um, my thoughts on the Lego shown at Toy Fair and I was able to post that just about right when they were shown. So I was happy about that, but it has taken me like an extra week or so to do uh, this video. Very sorry, but I still wanted to do it because I, I wanted to uh, share my thoughts on the new Marvel Hasbro toys. Um, overall, I found that the Legos were pretty interesting, uh, you know, like the pop vinyl. Um, mystery minis, uh, you know, those type of things made by that company. They showed some really cool stuff. Um, but overall, nothing was too special other than the Marvel things. Like, uh, NECA didn't show anything great that I was personally collecting from them that I was really excited about. Uh, Star Wars stuff, they didn't really show much new from the Black Series at all. And, um, and they didn't show any Force Awakens stuff. So, just, you know, a little disappointing stuff like that. So that's why I'm really just going to be talking about the Marvel stuff here because they showed some interesting stuff but other than that there wasn't anything too amazing that I collected personally so that's why I'm just gonna be talking about Marvel here starting off we have the Marvel Universe or the Marvel Infinite series um, formerly known as Marvel Universe and uh, yeah so these are the three and three quarter inch Marvel figures they did really just show one new wave but it, d it did look quite cool here's one of the figures from the new wave it is the gold Ultron which is like the Ultron drone if I'm not mistaken so if you have the first Ultron, which I do, it would be kind of nice to get, you know, one, two, or three of these guys just to have, you know, standing next to them. That would look pretty cool. And then you get some others. I'm not quite sure what this Thor is called, but originally it was supposed to come out in a three-pack, I believe. That's not being that they're not doing the three-pack anymore for. They're doing it in regular series. We've also got the Spider-Man, which looks really bad in my opinion. Articulation-wise, it looks very good. Um, other than there's no wrist or waist, but it has like the good ankle articulation, um, stuff like that. But overall, it just it looks quite quite poor. It's just it's a very plain red with black. There's not even any shading in it from what I can see in this picture. So I'm really not looking forward to that Spider-Man. Definitely going to be passing on that one. I don't think it looks good. There's a nice wide view of everything. I'm not quite sure who she is, but she looks like an interesting character. I'm not sure if she has any connection with Craven, but she would look really nice uh, standing with Craven. Just her look is very, very much like Craven. Maybe she has a connection to him in the comics. I'm not sure on that, but... Uh, she looks pretty neat, so I'll be picking her up. We've got this guy right here, very cool. I can't remember what his name is. It starts with a K or something. He looks really nice. He's a nice, massive figure. Um, I, I'm guessing that they're reusing some parts from the thing, but I really can't tell. Um, I don't have the thing from the Thrones of Corn Shine, so I can't tell for sure. Obviously, new head sculpt, some new armor on the body. His shield there looks to be the shield that came with the World War Hulk, so that seems to be reused. Overall, that looks like an awesome figure. Definitely a must have. Um, pretty interesting. And of course, then we do get another picture of Vulture, but we've already seen Vulture, and I'm, I'm very excited for Vulture, though. There's a nice closer picture of her. Then we have a like X Force uh, Deadpool, which is really neat. I'm not really liking these colors. I've never, you know, I don't know too much about the X Force or anything. I'll be picking it up, um, uh, but I have a feeling that a lot of people are going to want this one just because it's Deadpool. So he might be a little hard to find. We do get a nice uh, Scarlet Spider Man and or su Superior Spider Man, sorry, and they um, and a dead uh, a Daredevil uh, in. Some kind of like armored costume. I'm not quite sure what that what that's all about. We get a couple in package figures. Uh, then moving on here, these two are pretty interesting. These are probably the most interesting ones that they've shown that we haven't seen before. We do have Emma Frost, which looks really nice using the Scarlet uh, Witch body sculpt, which is a very good articulation. And then of course a new cape and a new head sculpt, looking great. Definitely a must-have, and I think a lot of people are going to want that one. And then right next to her is uh, the Chameleon. I, I do like the Chameleon a lot, so this looks pretty awesome. Uh, you do get two extra head sculpts. The red one, I'm not sure who that is. The the other one, it looks like it's Norman Osborn. I'm not 100% sure though, it might not be, but it possibly is. Very neat. Of course, if you don't know the chameleon, he does um, use masks to disguise his identity. And he's also like, I can't remember, he does have some like relation uh, to somebody else in the 
in the Spider-Man villain um, category. He's like the stepbrother of like I want to say Craven or somebody like that. So he is he's an interesting character. I do like him. And then of course we just this is the first time that we're really getting a suit, uh, a suited three and three quarter inch figure. So you can definitely use this to make customs, and I'm sure a lot of people are gonna have fun with that. In the back there we do get the cyborg juggernaut or the colossus juggernaut. I'm not quite sure what type of juggernaut that is. He looks pretty interesting though. Originally he was also supposed to come in the three pack with that other Thor, whoever that other character was, that is um, <clears throat> no longer being released as a three pack. Uh, so these three figures are pretty interesting. These two are newly shown at this toy fair though and I'm very looking forward to Emma Frost, or yeah Emma Frost and uh, Chameleon. Another picture of her, Superior Spider-Man. Then we just have some random uh, six-inch figures, which I'll go over later. But then it goes back to the three and three quarter-inch pictures. Also, I did get all my pictures from um, Toy Arc, just so you know. All right, looking nice. Just a little overview of them here. You know, you can see Doctor Octopus in the background. I am incredibly excited for that one. I, you know, I love Spider-Man villains. That's why. Out of everything they showed here, I'm most excited for Vulture, Dr. Octopus, and Chameleon. Um, and then, of course, this completes the Sinister Six, which is cool. And then, also, Chameleon has been a part of the Sinister Six, I believe, in a television show. So, if you do, uh, you know, prefer that version of the Sinister Six, you'll be able to, to do that with the new Chameleon figure. Looking very nice. Nothing too amazing shown, but they did show a couple figures that were pretty cool. And I'm very happy that they're continuing this toy line. This toy line back, you know, in its heyday was really a great series and was my favorite toy line. Um, so, unfortunately, it has gone through the change of new packaging, not being called Universe anymore, and now it's being called Infinite. And the, um... The, uh, 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 and the articulation in like the chest seems to be taken off of a lot of figures as well as I believe the wrists are, are no longer on a lot of figures. They are continuing the ankle rockers though so I am uh, happy about that but unfortunately this series is kind of dipping but they are still um, you know pulling off a couple really nice figures or character wise so that does make me happy but there you go that's what I have to say about the three and three quarter inch figures now of course one thing that Marvel did this uh, or that Hasbro did uh, really well in this toy fair was show their their Marvel Legends figures now they've got a ton of new waves coming out looking quite spectacular and I am very excited for it one of my favorite waves of this year I think is gonna be the Ant-Man wave um, most of the time I'm not too interested in the figures in a wave. There's maybe a couple that I'm looking forward to, but mainly I'm buying them so that I can build a build a figure. That's typically how it happens. This is, of course, an exception. I. Oh, hold on one second. Sorry about that, I had to take a call. But um, like I'm saying, this this is a wave that I'm very looking forward to because I really like want almost every single figure in the wave. I'm not just buying them to get the Build-A-Figure. Um, but as you can see, you do get a movie Ant-Man, which looks very nice. It does show his um his mouth there, uh, and you know there are some versions of the helmet where it's just all kind of uh, I don't know what you call it. It's all the helmet, and you can't see his mouth. So it's an interesting choice that they went on with this one. I do think it looks quite nice. Our articulation looks uh, great as usual from uh, Marvel Uni uh, Legends. Uh, you do get this little accessory. It's a very small ant and a very small ant man. Now at the Toy Fair itself they did show this and with it was a small yellow jacket. So I'm not quite sure if you're going to be getting yellow jacket with this um uh, with this uh, figure, you know, you're going to be getting the little ant man, little ant, and little yellow jacket. Or if yellow jacket is actually going to go with a yellow jacket figure, um, back when Toy Arc was, uh, you know, right before the Toy Fair, they did post like, uh, for, uh, Ah, I can't talk. They did post like something from the Hasbro um, panel, uh, which said that in the wave would be Yellow Jacket. So possibly they just were kind of screwed up and they were showing the little Yellow Jacket and they thought that was a full Yellow Jacket figure, or they are actually doing Yellow Jacket. I have my fingers crossed so much they're just about breaking off, but I'm hoping that they're doing a full Yellow Jacket figure. Although my guess is most likely they're not going to be because the the wave. It looks like it consists of enough enough figures to build Ultron anyway, so I doubt they're going to do a Yellow Jacket figure, but I am really hoping for it, because, you know, I'm a big Villains fan, of course. Then we have Bulldozer. This is one that I'm incredibly excited for. Um, you know, I love the Wreckers, and uh, I was really worried that we weren't going to get Bulldozer, because originally Bulldozer was going to be the variant for the Wrecker in the... Um, 
in the Rocket Raccoon wave, which of course just never came out because the variants never came out for some reason. So uh, I was really having my fingers crossed that they would um, put him in with another uh, wave, and they have done that as you can see. So now, as long as you have the two other records from the Zola wave, which is Thunderball uh, and Thunderball and um, Bulldozer, and then you also got the record from the Rocket Raccoon wave. Now you can get Bulldozer from the Ant-Man wave or from the Ultron wave and um, complete your record team. So I'm very excited for that. We do have Giant Man, which is another kind of version of uh, Ant-Man. I think it's going to look really nice with Ant-Man. So I am excited for that one. Uh, this is the only one I'm not like super excited for. It's like it's it's the Grim Reaper, I believe is his name. Um, you know, it looks like an average body sculpt. The claw hand looks a little interesting, and the uh, the expression on the face I am liking. Other than that, though, I know nothing about the character, so that's why I'm not super excited for this one. I mean, I have the three and three quarter inch one, and I'll get this one too, but I am not like uh, incredibly excited for that. Uh, now we have Tiger Shark. Very excited for this one. Uh, if you do have the um, Zemo that was released in the Captain America wave, the Radioactive Man that was released in the three-pack Target exclusive, now you're going to get tar Tiger Shark, which will kind of have a nice little Masters of Evil set up, you know, with the three of them. So I'm very excited for this. Of course, uh, Radioactive Man was supposed to come out in a wave that never came out, and his variant was supposed to be Tiger Shark. So I was worried that we weren't going to get either of them. Luckily enough, they have released them, though, uh, in other ways, so we are going to be able to build a nice and you know, a small version of the Masters of Evil. Of course, this is very exciting, the Build-A-Figure Bean Ultron. Very excited for this. He looks great, I have to say. My only gripe is the legs are completely off. From the knee down, they are not accurate to the legs of Ultron Prime at all. And I, I mean, this is supposed to be Ultron Prime, and at least going by the Hot Toys version of Ultron Prime, his feet and the, his, his, you know, his caps here are completely different. So uh, I would recommend, um, I, so I am a little disappointed in that. And uh, maybe in the movie he has like a, kind of like a halfway in between his, his second version in Ultron Prime where his legs are a little bit more like this. I'm not quite sure. It might have something to do with the movie or it might just be a screw up by Hasbro. Um, either way though, it does look very nice, although it doesn't seem to be accurate to Ultron Prime. Uh, and then, of course, we get Wasp in this wave. Wasp is really cool. I've never really been too into her character, but when I got the three and three quarter inch Wasp, I really enjoyed that figure, so I am very excited to get a six inch version of her, especially with those big wings. They look very cool. I hope that the wings are articulated like they were on the three and three quarter inch version, because that was very nice. Then we do have a four pack. I'm not quite sure if this is an exclusive to Toys R Us or something, but it does consist of a new Thor, which is very nice. The Thor that we have had um, up to this point was back when the first Thor movie came out, they released that Thor, and then when the Avengers movie came out, they released the same Thor with a unhelmeted head sculpt, and now we're finally getting a new Thor, because there wasn't any Thor for the Thor 2 movie, so I am very happy that we are finally getting an update of Thor. We're getting Bruce Banner, which is very cool, of course, and another figure that is just a complete suit, so it, it'll be very nice for customizers to do some customs with. That looks kind of nice. Um, you do get Hawkeye. I believe it's mainly a repackage of the Hawkeye that came out in the Walmart exclusive line. Possibly, it looks like there's a new head, and you know, I don't know. He looks a little odd. His 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 head looks too small for his body. Um, I'm not quite sure if that's just the picture, if that's actually how the figure is going to be. And then we're going to get a uh, Black Widow, same Black Widow from the uh, Captain America series. Obviously, different accessories, possibly a different head. I can't really tell. I think it's a different head, but I'm not sure. And then of course more blue on the costume to reflect her Age of Ultron look. This is a nice pack. I mean, I have the original Thor, I have the original Hawkeye, and Black Widow, so, uh, you know, I, I don't really... Oh, you know what? I take that back. I'm sorry. I'm pretty sure these. this is two separate two-packs. I don't think it's one full four-pack. I'm not quite sure. I'd be interested in this, because I do want the updated Thor. I'd love to have Bruce Banner, and then I'm not too interested in the Hawkeye or Black Widow, but they are kind of interesting. If, if these two come in a pack together, I'll pick up that pack. I'm not quite sure if I'll pick up this one, though. All right, now moving on to the Thanos wave, which is the wave that's coming out, you know, relatively soon. We have, uh, oh shoot, I can't remember his name. He was in a movie, too. He's in Captain America the Winter Soldier. 
um, Batrock, right? Yeah, Batrock, the, uh, the Leaper. Uh, you know, interesting character. I am excited to get a comic version of him. Then we have a movie, Captain America. I, I'm not quite sure if this is a new mold or if this is a retooled mo mold. It looks like the body's new. I'm not quite sure. It doesn't look that great to me, and I've got a million and one six-inch Captain America, so I'm not excited for this one, but I will be buying it for the Build-A-Figure. We get Hellcat, I believe is her name. I'm not quite sure who she is. She looks interesting, but nothing too exciting for me. We get Hulk, which is just a, a, a redone version of the, other, if, of the Avengers Hulk, I believe, with like a different head sculpt possibly different hands and then they might have tweaked the chest and of course they took the shredded bit off the pants um i'll be getting this for the six inch version or for the i'm sorry for the build a figure if there wasn't a build a figure piece this would be a skip for me because i have the first one already we are getting the mark 43 um uh, i have the mark 42 obviously the mark 43 is exactly the same just with some more red paint so that's nothing too special the one thing i do like about this one though is he does come with a separate head sculpt which does have tony stark like um where the helmet's coming up so you can't see Tony Stark's face. I, I like that, and I'll probably display him that way, but again, I wouldn't be buying it if it wasn't for the Build-A-Figure. We get Spider-Woman, not too excited for her. I mean, she looks alright, but nothing too special. Uh, and then, of course, Thanos being the Build-A-Figure, super stoked for this. They did show this Build-A-Figure at Comic-Con or, or some other event uh, a few months ago, so nothing too new by seeing him, but still very excited for that figure and definitely well worth buying the figures that I don't care about just to build Thanos. All right, we get Valkyrie. Um, I'm not quite sure what wave she's in. I... I can't remember if she's in the Thanos wave or the Hulkbuster wave. Either way, I'll buy her for the Build-A-Figure, though. And she doesn't look too spectacular. Her arms look very skinny. Um, just like the Tanty Quarter Inch one had that same design with the really thin arms. I mean, look at this wrist. This is insane. Like, I don't really like the proportions on her at all. And um, not excited for that. Uh, we get Blizzard, who is from the... Uh, Hulkbuster wave. Blizzard looks really cool. I'm not quite sure his character. I would like to learn more about his character to see if I like him. Um, I like the paint though. I mean the white isn't just white. It is like a pearl white which I think looks great with the metallic blue. Looks quite wonderful. We get Doctor Strange in a very modern costume. I am excited for this one. Um, Really, because when the Doctor Strange movie comes out, I'll be happy that I have a nice comic version of him. We get the Build-A-Figure being Hulkbuster, which is very cool. Hulkbuster really does look quite nice. The red looks a little too bright for me. I wish that it would have gone with something a little darker red, a little more towards burgundy, which seems to be his color in the movie. Um, very much like the Lego Hulkbuster. I've got him on my desk right here, and he seems to have the right color. While this one is a little too bright for my taste, um, and it looks like a, a, you know, a touch more detail uh, uh, in in uh, as far as paint wise would be nice a little more silver and gold um, other than that that looks really good articulation looks like he might be hindered just based on his bulk um, but other than that he looks wonderful and definitely an absolute must have you got to build the Hulkbuster you'll get this Iron Man in the wave which is a re um, sculpt or sorry repaint of the Mark IV I have the Mark IV and uh, or yeah the Mark IV. And, you know, this just doesn't look special to me at all. I have no interest in this one. Uh, he, he has that stupid, like, open hand, which I've never liked from the original Iron Man. For some reason, the one fist and one open hand that's not a repulsor. It just looks stupid. He doesn't look good standing just on a shelf with that with those weird hands. Uh, so I'm not looking forward to that at all. Um, you get her. I'm not quite sure who this character is. And I believe she is from the... Oh shoot, I can't remember if she's in the Hulkbuster wave or the Rhino wave. I believe she's in the Hulkbuster wave though. She looks interesting enough. Her weapon looks interesting. Um, although I am not too keen on the character, so not looking forward to that. Another picture of Valkyrie for some reason. And then we get Vision. Very looking forward to this. Um... I am very disappointed it's not a movie vision though. I was really shocked to see that they're doing a, you know, uh, a whole nether, um, you know, Avengers wave with Hulkbuster and not a single movie figure is in that wave. I don't really get that. I would have liked to see Scarlet Witch, um, Quicksilver, and Vision being made into movie six inch figures and we're not going to get that. I really have no clue why. I mean, maybe they're going to show them later or something. I'm not quite sure, but this comic version of Vision looks very nice and uh, will definitely go well on the shelf. And then we do get a movie War Machine, which is cool. Um, it is just mainly a, re, uh, a repaint of the Iron Patriot. Um, there might be a different 
like chest sep section, I'm not quite sure, but I believe it's just the same thing. Looks quite nice, and of course this is how he's going to be in the Avengers Age of Ultron, so I am happy that they are giving us this. Uh, now we're moving on to a wave that we've all seen, so I'm going to skip it, but I am looking forward to that wave. Oh. Um, now going over to the Rhino Wave, uh, which is really great. We get uh, Ghost, Ghost Rider. Nothing too special. I'm not a big Ghost Rider fan, um, so that's why I'm not too looking forward to this. But if you do like Ghost Rider, the figure itself looks really nice. I mean, the fire looks great, especially in the neck area. So that's kind of interesting. Now this figure I'm incredibly excited for. Like I said, with my with the three corner triggers, I'm a big Spider-Man villain fan. So gotta love Craven. Very much looking forward to this guy. He looks really nice. I mean, just a really good figure overall. You get her. I'm not quite sure what her name is again. Uh, I don't really know too much about her at all. She looks quite interesting though. I mean, you know, very kind of 60-ish and then she's got like a one gold. I can't tell if it's a glove or, or what that is uh, or on her hand if that's like a piece of armor, I'm not quite sure, and then like a gold um, a pistol, very neat. I don't know, just the uniqueness of this character makes me want it, although I really have no idea who she is, but I will buy her just for the Build-A-Figure. Here we have the Build-A-Figure, this Rhino, like I said, big Spider-Man villain fan, so I am incredibly stoked that Rhino is the Build-A-Figure in this wave. As you can see, he does look great, really happy about that, and then you get like two different versions of his face sculpt. You get one where you can see his full face, more, more classic comic-ish over here, and then you get a little bit more slightly modern but not quite ultimate rhino uh, head sculpt here with uh, his eyes and nose being entrapped in the rhino costume and not uh, his actual skin. So really interesting. And then of course there are two completely different expressions. Obviously if you just have him like standing on your shelf, this will probably be a better one to display him with. And then with uh, poses where he's fighting people, this is of course going to be the one to pose him with. Very excited for this build of fear and a must have for me. Uh, we also get, uh, shoot, I can't remember what this guy's name is. Is it Scarlet Spider-Man? It's something like that. I, I re the only reason I remember it is because I, I got um, that Spider-Man in the 3 and quarter inch line. I have no idea who he is, though. Uh, nothing too special in my opinion. Although, it, I mean, it looks like a nice figure, just character-wise. Nothing too special. Superior Venom. Very excited for this, because, of course, I do have the Superior Spider-Man that came out in the... Um, in the green, Ultimate Green Goblin build a figure wave. So I'm very much looking forward to this one. He looks really interesting, really different from anything we've seen with the feet, the face, and then the, the tentacle spike things. Really nice though. Um, if you do follow like Glenn Webb, I believe is his YouTube name. He did, he did a custom on this guy a little while back and uh, so I am, and I really liked it. So I am really excited that they are actually giving us one. Very much looking forward to, uh, to getting that. Then we get her, again, I don't really know her name, it's Tiger or something, or, or something of that nature. I believe she's in the new Spider-Man, like, animated show. Um, I'm not quite too interested in her, I think that the head sculpt and the hair looks quite nice. Other than that, it looks like quite a plain figure that your eye is going to completely pass over on your shelf. She doesn't look like she has anything that really helps her stand out. And, you know, the body sculpt is a normal female body sculpt, so nothing too special at all, in my opinion. We do get this one. This is this is from the Hobgoblin wave, I believe, so I'm not quite sure why the picture's down here. Then they are doing a three-pack, which I believe is a target exclusive. Not quite sure, though. We do get this version of Hulk. It's Hulk with short hair. I'm not quite sure what version of it it is. Nothing too interesting in my opinion. We do get an Ultron Sentry or um, you know whatever you want to call it uh, which is basically a retool of Beetle. Um, so that's a shame and this is his feet here are more like the feet of Ultron Prime uh, how, how we should look so um, these would, would have probably been better than the feet that they chose for the uh, uh, for the Builder figure itself. Overall looking interesting you know Nothing that I would need, but it would be kind of nice to get an Ultron Sentry. Um, and I'm not quite sure if this is supposed to be a movie or comic. I think this is supposed to be comic, but I am not sure. Um, if if it is supposed to be a movie one, it's not done very well. Um, just because, of course, it's reusing an old sculpt uh, that's a comic version of, of a character. So it doesn't look like a movie one, but I'm not quite sure if this is supposed to be a comic one or the movie one. Um, I'm not quite sure, though. 
We do get vision. Of course, it is just like a kind of phasing vision, a completely clear one. Nothing too special in my opinion. And now we're back to the top. So overall, I am very much looking forward to the new Marvel Legend or Marvel Universe wave. It does look like a quite a nice wave. With the Marvel Legend figures, I am highly anticipating the Ant-Man wave. I am very excited for the uh, uh, Rhino wave and. Um, and then the Hulkbuster wave probably has the wave that I'm least looking forward to, although I am very much looking forward to that build a figure. So, uh, just based on waves, it goes Ant Man, uh, Rhino, and Hulkbuster for me. Of course, the, um, the, the build a figures being Ultron, and, uh, Ultron, Rhino, and Hulkbuster. I can't believe I am so stoked with their choices of build a figures. I love villains, and you've got two wonderful villains. And then, of course, the Hulkbuster. Whether you love villains or heroes, everybody loves the Hulkbuster. So I am super stoked for that. Of course, the Thanos one wasn't newly shown in this year, so that's why I'm not focusing on that one too much. But I am very much looking forward to that Thanos figure. Uh, one thing that they didn't show here, but they did uh, release pictures for later, was the Chameleon figure. They are doing Chameleon in the um, in the uh, Rhino Wave. I am very much looking forward to that. This is your basic figure, and then he will come with two head scopes. Like I said, when I went over the thin three and three quarter inch one, he does wear masks to impersonate people. So the head sculpts he will come with will be John Chamberson, which does look really awesome. He's got, you know, almost a yelling face, which I do like a lot. And then Hammerhead. I am a, a fan of Hammerhead. I, I like his, uh, his, his unique head style and just, he looks like an interesting character. I believe that the, the first Avenger Captain America 6 inch figure came with a nice kind of old style, almost like a Tommy gun that I think is going to look great with that uh, hammerhead. So I'll be definitely displaying him with that. And um, I'm probably going to get just three chameleons so I can have a JJ chameleon and um, Hammerhead. Of course, I would love some some uh, some type of newspaper accessory to display with John Jaberson. Um, so hopefully I can get that. But I am incredibly excited for this chameleon figure, both in the three and quarter inch version and six inch version. So yeah. Overall, that is my video just talking about the Marvel uh, stuff shown by Hasbro. Sorry, this video did run very long, but if you did watch it, I thank you. And uh, thanks so much, guys. Tell me which figures you're looking forward to.